It's been a minute since we updated all you Jeep fans out there on the newest JL rumors and spy shots. Lucky for you, we've got all sorts of new updates. We also have news on the new Bronco, which may actually turn out to be a true Wrangler competitor. Hey guys, Ken here with 4 Well Online and welcome to your news refresh. Keep up to date with the latest JL and Bronco news by hitting that subscribe button. Already subscribed? Click the bell button to be part of the notification squad. So let's start with the Bronco. GearPatrol.com spoke with a Ford engineer who leaked details on the highly anticipated SUV. One of the biggest takeaways from this article is that it will be comparable to the Wrangler in every way except rock crawling. Our guess is that the independent front suspension of the Ranger frame is the biggest limiting factor there. The source also said that the JKU was used as a benchmark vehicle and that they're in their third design phase because it looks so similar to the Wrangler. There's usually only one design phase, by the way. He also said that inspiration is coming from the Ford Troller, a Brazilian vehicle that looks like a weird mix of a Wrangler and a Hummer H3. We can only hope it looks somewhat close to the renderings from Bronco6G.com that everyone's been sharing around. And finally, he says that it'll have a 325 horsepower, 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6, similar to the Ford Fusion. Not bad, it seems like a solid choice. Now, we've got a ton of new information about the soon to be released Jeep JL. First things first, it's expected to be revealed at the 2017 LA Auto Show in November. So that's only August, September, October, November, four months away. Spy shots show new LED taillights that are hourglass shaped and appear to be a spiritual successor to the controversial Renegade taillights. However, incandescent lights were spotted a few days later with a more standard look, potentially for the European market since it has amber turn signals. Before we get into the seriously cool information, we have one piece of disappointing news. The two-door model will not have the Sahara trim option. This could be because the Sahara trim is the high-end luxury trim and the buyers will more likely be upsold to the four-door version anyway. We've spoken about the possible engine options the JL will have in previous videos, but another diesel mule was spotted. There's not much in the way of specs yet, but a similar 3.0 liter V6 in the Grand Cherokee makes 240 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. Probably the most interesting piece of info came from spy shots of a JL body shell. This gave us a glimpse of the new metal hood latches that not only look cool, but they're also a huge upgrade from the JK's rubber latches and should prevent any hood flutter. These spy photos also show more detail of the fender flares than ever before. We finally get a clear look at the light strip, which seems to be fairly controversial. Although even more interesting than that is that we can see a two-piece flare design. If you look closely, there's a bit of a painted fender flare with a shape reminiscent of the stock JK flares. Underneath the light strip, there's black plastic and a bulge that runs down the side of the flare. Now, which one are you most excited for, the Bronco or the JL? Let us know in the comments and let everyone know what you hope to see from the new vehicles. Until next time, I'm Ken with 4 Wheel Line, and you've just been refreshed.